Can You See in the Dark by Carolyn Janes, illustrated by Duane Bibby. Do you need light to see? Picture the darkest place you can remember. Was there any light there? In this book, we will look for places that are totally dark with no light at all. No stars, no lamps, no light coming in the window. Can you see in a place that's completely dark? Or do you need light to see? You will explore these questions and find answers for yourself. Can you see in the dark? Do you need light to see? To find the answer, you need evidence. And the only way to get the evidence you need is to find a place that's completely dark with no light at all. Think of some dark places. Can you see in those places? You can find your way to the bathroom after bedtime without turning on a light. You can see empty seats in a dark movie theater. But are those places completely dark? Is there any light there at all? To find out whether you need light to see, you have to find a place with no light. None. Nada. Zero. Zilch. Think of a movie theater. You walk in after the movie starts. It is hard to see, but you can still find a seat. You can see a little bit. Is there any light in the theater? What do you observe? You may see little light bulbs on the floor next to the seats. Behind you, you can see light coming from the movie projector. Light does not just float around. It has to come from somewhere. A place where light comes from is called a light source. The light bulbs on the floor are a light source. The movie projector is also a light source. Even though the movie theater seems dark, there is some light. The theater is not completely dark. You don't have the evidence you need yet. To find out whether you need light to see, you have to find someplace darker to observe. You walk out of the theater. It is a rainy night. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? On the walk home, you notice light from many sources, street lights, car headlights, and the glowing sign at the gas station. You can see, but that is not evidence that you can see in the dark. It is nighttime, but it is not completely dark. Think of a darker place. You can go camping in the middle of the woods where there are no street lights or headlights. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? Yes, the campfire is a source of light. Your flashlight is a source of light too. When the fire goes out and you turn off the flashlight, it gets much darker. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? Look up in the sky. What do you observe? Up there are thousands of light sources, the stars. Even in the middle of the forest at night, it is not completely dark. You cannot get the evidence you need to answer your question here. Back at home, your bedroom may seem completely dark when you turn off the lights. Can you see? Maybe you see a glass of water on the table next to your bed. Maybe you can count the stripes on your bedspread. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? You see some light from a street light and from the neighbor's house coming through the window. Your room is not completely dark after all. Being able to see in your bedroom at night is not really evidence that you can see in the dark. Can you imagine a place that is completely dark with no light from any source? You crawl under your bed. You remember how dark it was under there when you played hide and seek. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? In a few seconds, you start to see things. You can see a sock that's been missing for a month. Does this mean you can see in the dark? You look around. Light from the neighbor's house and the street light outside your window is also getting under your bed. You have to find some place darker. You scramble into your closet and shut the door. Yes, you think, I found a place that is completely dark. No light is getting in here from any source. You can just barely see your hand if you hold it in front of your face. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? You notice a crack under the door where light from outside is getting in. You still don't have the evidence you need. You still cannot prove whether or not you need light to see. A few days later, you go on a field trip to a cave. The tour guide leads you into the cave. It is dark in here, really dark. Deep in the cave, there is no light from the sun. This may be the perfect place to test whether you can see in the dark. The tour guide is talking about how caves are formed. 
but you are wondering how dark the cave could get. You finally get a chance to ask. The tour guide says, I'll show you. I'm going to turn off the lights for a minute. She turns off the lights and everything is black. You look around for sources of light, but you do not see any. In fact, you cannot see anything at all. Just to be sure, you wait and wait, but you never see anything. A smile crosses your face. None of your classmates can see the smile, even though they are standing right in front of you. Still, you know the smile is there because you can feel it. You finally have the evidence you need. You have found a place that is completely dark. There is no light from any source. It is completely dark and you cannot see in the dark. If you can see anything, it is because of light. You need light to see. The end. Now, after reading the story, can you answer the question, do you need light to see? In the back of the book is a glossary with words from the story. Evidence is information that helps you figure out an answer to a question. Observe means to use any of the five senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, to learn more about something. Projector is a machine that shows movies or pictures on a big screen. Source is the place where something comes from. And test is to try and find out what happens.